Hi everyone, this is Jimmy Young in Instructional Technology at Oklahoma Baptist University and we're going to take a look at the attendance module in Moodle today. I've got a test course in front of you that uh, has a couple of uh, topics in it and a couple of grades, graded items, a couple of quizzes and we're going to add an uh, attendance module to this course. Um, go to the add an activity in the section that you want to include the attendance uh, module in and click the drop down arrow and choose attendance. On the adding a new attendance page we can change the name of the attendance so if we have a separate uh, lecture and a separate lab uh, attendance we can name them and uh, then choose a grade. You can choose a no grade if you want. Uh, it's not included in the grade book or you can choose a numeric value from 1 to 100. It's important to know how the attendance uh, module affects the grade for students and we'll get to that in detail a little bit later. Uh, once you get those settings set, uh, scroll down and choose Save and Display. On the uh, Sessions page, uh, click the Add tab. We're going to add sessions for this particular class. Uh, those are class periods that you want to take attendance in. They call those sessions. On the Add page, uh, cre uh, select Create Multiple Sessions checkbox. Then put the date of the first class in the session date, the duration of the class, and the session end date. And this will create all of the sessions uh, for the entire class in uh, a few number of clicks. So I'm going to choose all the way to December the 6th and I'm going to say that this particular class is on Thursdays every one week. The frequency is the uh, a number of weeks so if we chose two it would be every other week. And you can include a description for those sessions or not and then when you're done with that click Add Session. Then click the Sessions tab and let's uh, make sure that the sessions have been set up correctly. Okay, now let's set up the grades and the variables for each attendance activity. Click on the Settings tab. And notice that you can have uh, any number of variables that uh, indicate uh, your, your way of taking attendance. So a P, when a student gets a P, that means they're present and they get a grade of 2. And uh, notice you can customize these, you can add them, you can delete them. For some reason, the Moodle uh, site at OBU duplicates uh, all of the variables once. So I'm going to delete one of each of these and then we'll come back to this activity in a sec. Okay, now we, that we've deleted all of our duplicate variables, I just want you to notice that uh, you can change those acronyms, you can add them, you can change descriptions, and you can uh, change the grade value uh, for each of those variables. Okay, now I want you to notice how the attendance affects the gradebook. Um, we're looking at the gradebook for this particular report, for this particular course. It has two students in it, and it has three graded activities. It has a quiz, quiz one, a quiz two, and a lecture uh, attendance grade, and a course total. Um, the uh, grades have already been entered for the quizzes. Notice that Jane has a hundred for quiz one, has a ninety for quiz two, and we haven't taken attendance yet. So uh, notice the so the average of those two grades is a ninety-five for Jane, and John has uh, hundreds in both of those, so his average is a hundred for the course. Now let's go actually take attendance and see how that affects the grade. So I'm going to go to the course homepage and click on the 
uh, attendance module and go to the particular session that I want to take attendance in. You notice there's a green a take attendance button uh, next to that session. I'm going to click on that. And notice I've got a row for each student and columns for all the acronyms. P, remember P means se, uh, present and L means late. Uh, e is excused and A is absent. Uh, if I want to quickly choose if everyone's in, in class and present that day, I can choose the top uh, column heading and it will set everybody's status to present. Uh, I can put in remarks if I want to for each individual student and uh, I'm going to click Save Attendance. Now let's go back to, uh, well let me mention real quick that I, if you can't finish the attendance right then, if you uh, need to just go or need to go back and edit it later, notice now there's a change attendance link for that session. Um, there's no more green button under actions column to take attendance, but you can go to the session itself and change it. Uh, next session you have to go uh, and click the green button to take attendance again for that uh, the, the following session. Okay, so let's go to the grade book and see how attendance affected the grade. <clears throat> Remember that we gave that attendance a, a value of 100, so that I, they get a maximum possible number of points of 100. So Jane has a 100 now because she's been present in every session that we've taken attendance in. So her uh, course total's gone up a little bit based on the average. So let's go back to the course attendance module and take attendance in for the next session and we'll say that Jane is uh, absent for that session. So we'll go to the actions column, click the green button, and we'll say that Jane is A for absent and John is there today and click save attendance. That gets back, uh, we'll go back to the grade book. So we'll go back to the grade book. And now notice that Jane has 50 uh, points for the grade because she has half of the maximum points available for sessions that we've taken attendance in. We've only taken attendance in two sessions. It's worth a total of 100. So now she has uh, 50 <laughs> points in that uh, in as a lecture attendance uh, grade. Uh, so that that pulls her course total down a lot, but um, that makes sense because we've got a running total going here. We're not uh, uh, doing attendance, uh, just waiting till the end of the course and taking, uh, putting all the attendance grades in. We want it to uh, have a, a current grade at any time the student looks at their grade, it should be uh, current this way. Uh, so, you know, even though we have 15 or 16 sessions of attendance, we've only taken uh, them in two, so notice it kind of adds them as a running total. Okay, now I've logged in as Jane, so you can see what the attendance module looks like from the student's point of view. Let's go down to the course and uh, take a look at the attendance module. Uh, this is what the student sees, so you can uh, click on that. Uh, same icon that you do as a teacher, and notice that uh, it tells her how many sessions uh, have been completed and how many times she was present late, excused absence, the points that she got for each. Remember there's two, we defined it as two points for present and uh, no points for being absent. So it's got two out of four, 50 percent. And uh, so you can see all of the attendance grades. Uh, and the, the question mark means that it hasn't been, ten, attendance hasn't been taken for that particular session. Now let's take a look as, at Jane's grade. Let's see. See that she can see her grades for each of the quizzes and the lecture attendance of 50% and a course total of 80%.